starting my lecture series in detail about antennas and microwave propagation. Here we will be seeing about uh, how antenna is being designed, types of antennas used and the working principles and its applications. So starting with the interaction, what's its, what is antenna? Antenna is, being, is a device used, used as a transmit, transmitter and receiver of electromagnetic waves. Okay. So it also acts as an interface between the radio waves and the electric current through space. Radio waves is nothing but electromagnetic waves and it also acts as a transformer between the conducted waves and electromagnetic waves. Conducted waves is nothing but electric current or voltages like its input waves and it also acts as a transducer between the electric current. A transducer is nothing but it converts energy from one form to another so it it is like it converts the electric current into electromagnetic waves so antenna is also act as a transducer here so in structure if you see the structure we uh, there is mainly three types of elements used for the structure of antenna here it is a reflector reflector driven element and directors multiple directors so the reflector used here acts as an uh, like it used to for modify the radiation pattern of an antenna and drive an element act as a dipolier which is made up of metal rod and which connects the receiver and transmitter which is used to connect the receiver and transmitter and then comes the director the director used here are shorter it's like slightly shorter than the dipole and reflector used here so these directors uh, which these directors are used to, to reflect the radio waves in the opposite direction you could see here like the blue line the blue line that comes okay this these are the input waves coming and when it crosses the director it it goes in the opposite direction so you could see here in the blue lines are it it so this denotes the uh, how the radio waves moves in the opposite direction in the director so here seeing this diagram we could see the different medias where the antenna is being used so antenna is being placed here and this is the base station which is being used as a transmitter for the antenna. In this base station we connect, uh, base station is used to connect the uh, wireless networks or wireless networks or such things. So these are the inputs, these are the inputs for the antenna. So starting with this public switch network, telephone network is nothing but a telephone network which connects worldwide like it includes the telephone cables uh, fiber optical cables cable networks all such things comes under the public switch telephone network and internet internet and all these combined together gets uh, connected in a wireless carrier network and that wireless carrier network is being uh, is being used as an input to the base station as I have told base station collects all the wireless communication networks so the base station here act as a transmitter and input from this transmitter is electric current or voltage and this is being given as an input to the antenna and from antenna we get a output as electromagnetic waves and that electromagnetic waves is being received by the mobile phones which act as an receiver here so this diagram denotes the uh, different media is being used how antenna is being used in the real life so the next we are moving on to microwave frequency band what is microwave microwave is nothing but it is a form of electromagnetic wave with different wavelengths ranging from one meter to one millimeters like it's nothing but from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz and different sources gives different frequencies ranges which act as a microwaves here here we have different frequency bands you could see here um, 
ELF. ELF is nothing but ele ext uh, extremely low frequency. Its frequency range is 3 to 30 hertz. SLF, SLF is super low frequency and ULF upper low frequency. VLF is very low frequency. So SLF is 30 to 300 hertz and ULF is 300 to 3000 hertz. So these three ELF, SLF and ULF the uh, principle used is like power grids. And coming on to VLF, it's very low frequency. Its frequency range is 30 to, sorry, 3 to 30 kilohertz. It's used for submarine purposes. And uh, LF is lower frequency. Uh, its frequency range is 30 to 300 kilohertz. It, it, uh, its principle used is beacons. MF is medium frequency 300 to 3000 kilohertz it is being used in AM broadcast you then HF, HF is high frequency 3 to 30 megahertz and it's used for short wave broadcasts VHF is very high frequency its frequency range is 30 to 300 megahertz it's used in FM radios and TVs all all such devices very high frequency is being used and also ultra high frequency UHF is being also used in TV LAN GPS all such devices UHF is being used and its frequency range is 300 to 3000 megahertz SHF is nothing but short high frequency sorry super high frequency 3 to 30 gigahertz it's been used for satellites radars like high range or high range purposes it's been used for super high frequency and extremely high frequency is from 30 to 300 gigahertz and it's for automotive automotive data radars all such things so this is about the microwave frequency band here you can see the old and new uh, microwave bands used so this can be referred for the purpose and this is all about uh, today's uh, lecture so keep supporting me here on like button subscribe and share button for our future uh, updates in our channel all your valuable feedbacks and comments are always welcome so thank you